Galatians 3, 15 through 18. Let's take a look at it. Chapter 3, verse 15 through 18. Brethren, I speak in terms of human relations. Even though it is only a man's covenant, yet when it has been ratified, no one sets it aside or adds conditions to it. Now the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. He does not say, and to seeds, as referring to many, but rather to one, and to your seed, that is Christ. Verse 17, what I am saying is this, the law which came 430 years later, does not invalidate a covenant previously ratified by God, so as to nullify the promise. For if the inheritance is based on law, it is no longer based on a promise, but God has granted it to Abraham by means of a promise. Now you can understand very simply in these verses, in layman's terms, it says, Brothers, I'm speaking to you about the power of a covenant between men, human terms. If you promise me and I promise you and we swear on the lives of our families and we put everything we have and we make an agreement in Jewish terms, that could never be broken. That's why he says, I'm speaking to you in human terms about a man-to-man -man covenant. In those days, a man-to-man -man covenant could never be broken. It was... It was Till death until we part. Do you understand? That promise, if I promise to be there for you and you're going to do this for me, it was a done deal. That's a human covenant. We're irrevocable in those days. And Paul says, I'm not talking to you about a human covenant. 